number one, and welcome back to our next example. In this example involving data rates, we're going to take a look at how video works. So when you are watching a video, it could be in high definition, it could be in low definition, and even in high definition, there's different things that define how high definition it is, if you will. Um, some is better than others. So we're going to take a look at how this works. Here's the question. What data rate is required to watch a high definition video, assuming that the refresh rate is 30 times per second and each pixel requires 24 bits? We're going to keep this simple and we're going to assume that there is no compression involved in this calculation. So first thing, we need uh, to understand how video works. All video is is simply drawing pictures on a screen and we do it really quickly so quickly it makes it look like something is moving so that's how basic video works we're going to assume here that we have a high definition video that is the following there are 1920 small pixels that go across the screen Going up and down the screen is 1,080 pixels. So the total number of pixels on one screen when it's drawn is this number multiplied by this number here. That's the total number of pixels on the screen. So when the image is drawn, once it's going to take that many pixels to do it. In order to make it look like it's moving, we need to do that so many times a second. And that's the refresh rate. The refresh rate is, for this example, 30 times per second. So that's how often we're drawing the image every second. What we also need to remember is we want to have a color image. So we're going to have colored pixels. And in order to do that, we need 24 bits for each single pixel on the screen. So what data rate is required to have this functionality. So let's take a look. So the data rate in this example here is going to be equal to the following. We are going to have this many pixels for one screen. And remember that for proper video, we're going to have a refresh rate of 30 times per second. So this is what it is for one screen, but we're going to do this 30 times per second. Then remember that each bit is going to take 24 bits. So we need to multiply this by 24 bits. Then when we multiply those together, we get the following very large number. Now remember, this is with no compression techniques used. If we want to have this function as expected, we don't want any flaws in our video stream, we're going to need to have this many bits transferred per second. So this number here we're actually going to divide by a billion and that will change it to a gigabits per second so if i take this number and divide by a billion and i round i will end up with 1.5 gigabits per second so in order for this high definition video, this many pixels at a refresh rate of 30 times per second, remembering each pixel requires 24 bits, we're going to need a data rate of 1.5 gigabits per second to make this happen. So that's it for this example. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.